Hello, 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 and welcome to Maths at Fantasy Football. I am your host, Thomas Woolley, and joining me now and forevermore is Ben. Hello, Ben. We, we have unfortunately, <laughs> Liz couldn't join us today, but we have a host of other guests to, who are joining us to talk about a variety of things, but mainly fantasy football. Josh, you are our fantasy football expert, and Hannah, you are our expert in everything else. So this is, this is going to be wonderful and interesting, but uh, let, let's start off with by introducing ourselves. So uh, Hannah, Hannah tell, tell us why you're in this, and it's not just because I asked you this morning. Um, why am I in this? Um, goodness me. Uh, so I, I have a little bit of a link to football. I actually used to play it quite a lot as I... Okay. Um, as a small child, I, I did a Torquay United um, summer camp, I believe, when I was about 10 years old, because um, I was quite into it at the time. I was the only girl there. Um, oh, really? It wasn't and, a girl yeah. team. It was just... No, no. No, no. I was the only girl in like 30, 40 boys, I think. Um, and um, yeah, I was were, really were into it. Good? I, had... I was quite good. Yeah, Excellent. I still am quite good, actually. You're, you're, just... anno- you're annoyingly good at everything, Hannah. <laughs> like, there, there's nothing that I've seen you do that you're not like head and shoulders above everyone else. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Possibly maths, actually, is one of Excellent. the things that I'm not good at. <laughs> Which is why we've got... If we've got any viewers or, from who've been listening to the podcast, they, they'll know myself and Ben, and we normally yes. have the Liz. And essentially, why, why I got Hannah on as the third guest is the third guest really just has to be more interesting than myself and Ben. And Hannah is the most in, one of the most interesting people I know. Because and she's also, um, ve- she's also very cheap as well. <laughs> <laughs> very cheap. I mean, there for, is that. But I, I suppose it comes from, because you used to be um, a researcher uh, on TV programmes. And, and so you're, like, so you, your, your general knowledge is vast. I, I used is- to be on a... Sorry, that is one of the best things about doing the job that I did, actually, is that um, it suits my personality down to the ground and that you do a project, you get really, really, really into it for like six months, you learn everything there is to know about it, and then you finish it and move on, and it's on to the next thing. But the thing so, is, you remember it all, though. That, that, you know, normally people go, and I'm done. But you, it's all there. Because I, I used to be on a quiz team with you, and it really should have been, the quiz team was called like the Purple army or something but it really should be called hannah veal and the hangovers you know it, 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 it was, that says more about you tom because you don't I, take interest in anything that's not mathematical I, like, I kind of like my daughter she's all right yes but you'd be a lot more interested if she could actually do sort of calculus i fully agree <laughs> I fully agree um and, and uh, yes so now josh who are you and what are you doing here Hello. Oh, I, I, I ask myself that every day. Uh, <laughs> Very ex- existential <laughs> question. Yeah, yeah um, I'm, I'm, I'm a mathematician. And yeah, and some, somehow I have had a, 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 a flukely good, or as I like to call it, an expert season at fantasy football. Um, what was the, what, is there a specific league? So, okay, let, let's get yeah, our credentials. Yeah. Uh, already, <laughs> Hannah is just bested me. So I, I never play football. I'm not, I'm not a sporty person in any... I, I, I'm very happy for sport to exist. Just over there. I'm not one of these people, you know, who doesn't <laughs> value in it. Just not in my universe. So what was the fantasy football about? You so, do you know, the, the irony of this whole thing is that I, I'm exactly in your boat Thomas so I, I basically never touched a football in, like throughout my entire childhood now, now, hang on a moment now I'm not sure about things but unless you're the goalkeeper I think you're not meant to touch the football <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an that's, expert here at all going wrong Hannah can that's... you confirm I believe that is correct <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> okay. So, honestly, but, so my sister is like the the best footballer that I've ever met like she is She's really good. She used to play like um, for Ipswich and for Crystal Palace and wherever else she's lived. Like the, the she's actual actual team. actually genuine. The actual well, the women's team. Well, the, but, the women's team. Well, the, the yes. actual women's team. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So like she, um, you know, she took it really seriously. And so growing up, like she was always really intensely into football. And so me being a couple of years younger was always like, no, I'm, I must stay away from this. I, I need to cups. separate like, ourselves. Yeah, yeah give me an. I mean, do you think, Josh, do you think there's a reputation, because mathematicians have a reputation not being very sporty. Um, and do, do you think that's fair? Or I, like... I think I'm, I'm the least sporty mathematician that I know. I've got oh. the, um, you know, the, my office mate was like a triathlon champion when I was doing my PhD. And basically, like, 
loads of people in my my research group seem to go off on the weekend and and cycle 300 miles and things but, 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 but the thing is it's they do it for fun that's their definition <laughs> uh, the thing is i'm sitting here and i'm sweating this is not fun why would i want fairness, to sweat it's 400 degrees outside that, that's the thing <laughs> I, I don't want to be sweating outside i'm, I'm inside and i'm sweating <laughs> <laughs> Right. I, was, I was just thinking, though, um, we're making a very big assumption here, actually, that our listeners know what fantasy football no, no, is. I say, I, I don't. I'm, I'm not making because, any assumption. No, I don't know. What... I don't either. So I think maybe we should we should probably ascertain what on earth it is. So what what, what basically happens is at the start of the um, at the start of the, the year, before anyone's played a game, everybody that's competing has a, a budget, which is. Um, you know the same for everybody and okay. you can you can buy or sell players completely fictitious money though right it's just it, it, it's a number you all get and they buy exactly players. yeah and it, and it makes you feel very important so this, this year it was 100 million pounds so you feel like yeah i've got all of this money now what am i gonna do 100 million pounds <laughs> <laughs> just think of all the schools hospitals pp you could have bought and you spent it on someone's salary for kicking a bag of air. No, no, right. sorry. So someone yeah. gives so you a fake hundred million pounds. Yes. Yeah. And then, um, so you, you take you take your fake money and you use it to um, not to buy real players, but to all of your you're fictitiously buying people that exist in the real world. Right. So um, you're you're recruiting your team basically. So so, so when when we say fantasy football, football, we're not talking orcs and ants and elves and. <laughs> and unfortunately, that would make it way more. That, I, I, I'm, 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 I might <laughs> actually play it if it were that. I, I'm I'm thinking here, you know, Lord of the Rings <laughs> football, Gandalf, and you, you shall not. That, I, 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 you you shall it. not score. <laughs> but, but yeah, he, 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 Gandalf is the defender. Sorry, yeah. carry on. Right, so we're buying <laughs> real people with fictitious money. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and so obviously, um, well, this is something that you may not know, but some some footballers are better at football than other footballers. Um, mm. Really? So <laughs> I know it's, it's it's a bit of a strange kind of uh, idea. It's like mathematics. But, some of uh, us are better at maths than others. <laughs> yeah. So what you want is the the players Hold on. the highest Could we do a fantasy pitch? maths department? <laughs> oh God, what's our budget? <laughs> <laughs> The digested biscuits. All right. <laughs> so I, I go for Carol Vorderman in outreach. Not yeah. bad. Not good start. <laughs> head, um, of head of department will be Gandalf. <laughs> the strikers um, can be anyone involved in uh, UCU. No, just because oh. Gan oh. Ga Gandalf would be. God, I, I'm a union member. Um, Gandalf would be. That's <laughs> not a criticism, just a Gan Gan <laughs> Gandalf. That's very funny. Um, Gandalf would be very good because he'd make sure that he kept bringing the income in from the students every year and a year because they keep trying to graduate. None shall pass. Uh, <laughs> same joke, different. Gandalf is the wizard that keeps on giving. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. right, so we've got so far we've got the fantasy. Fantasy football and the fantasy maths department. Right. I love it. I love it. So right. That'd be great. And, yeah. and is, so, it, is, is it what are the like, is this something you have to pay to play or is it? You know, no, no. So it, it so basically um, it, so it's completely free. Uh -huh. My um, my pet theory for why this is is that I think it's um, at least why the the official Premier League version, which is the version I was playing. I think that the reason that's free is because the Premier League want people to watch. Premier League football matches. Yes, and if you're if you're like me, normally you're not that interested in watching Premier League football matches. But if you if you own Burnley's goalkeeper, and they're playing Sheffield United, so on that's a, why you want a diverse team, team as well. So you'll be watching all the different matches that your people are in. Yeah, yeah. So for for like the first half of the season, I actually hardly watched any football matches because I don't own a television and I'm, I'm not. Not really that interested in football, unless it's Ipswich, in which case, sign me up. Viewers, <laughs> listeners, this is the hottest day of the year, after the corona crisis of 2020. We're all sweating, okay? We are sweating. We are oh, sat here. Please. We are hot. None of us are wearing any trousers, and we're sat here, <laughs> we're sat here, talking about how somebody likes Ipswich football team, okay? I could be <laughs> downstairs in my paddling pool now, having a nice cold glass of gin and instead we're asking joshua ball why 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 did you choose the team you did josh I, 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 right I, hold on right 
<laughs> we haven't even got what he's done yet. That's right. <laughs> okay. Let's do so, you've got your, so you've got your the, team. The you've got your team. You've, yeah, you've, you've got a team. Yeah. Um, you, you can't just pick all of the like superstars. So you've got to have some players that are, are kind of notionally like bad footballers. Um, but of course, they're not all bad footballers. So the, the kind of art of the game, I guess, is in picking the people that you think are going to do well, but are kind of like cheap alternative options. Then there's you a kind of right stock market. That you can sort of swap people in and out as well. Yeah, exactly. So, so every week you can make uh, you can make transfers. So just like a limited number, or or you get penalised if you swap more people. But you can basically sell one of your players and buy someone to replace them. But there's a kind of stock market system going on. Oh. So if everybody buys, you know, say there's a really cheap defender from like. Sheffield United that everyone's expecting to be rubbish and suddenly they start scoring loads of points well then everyone wants to buy them in because it means you've got more money to play around with so their price goes up so they become less affordable yeah so as a so, general rule if they score lots of points more people buy them and then their price goes up their so stock let's, goes. let's say you pick a um a modern current footballer in your team let's say Bobby Moore okay <laughs> and Bobby Moore goes out and scores three goals you, you get you get. Can we only point stick to... with one I've heard of. I, I think that's a footballer. Can we go with Eric Cantona? Not heard of Bobby Moore. <laughs> this is what you're dealing with. I told you I knew nothing. I know Eric Cantona. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Do, do you know? I went on a fantasy football podcast and I didn't get to talk about maths at all. So this is like the ideal. They were like, there's all these footballers maths? I've never heard of, and, like, we, and I was just we, like, I just want to talk about maths. We and that was complete we, reversal. We should like, we should, well, we should, I know you're Euclid, but like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly right. Turing, Alan Turing, uh, Euclid, good, good start. Uh, Gandalf. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf was not a footballer or a mathematician. Wasn't <laughs> so Socrates was both a footballer and a mathematician, though, wasn't he? Yeah, he was in that uh, Monty Python documentary. Oh yes, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so Bobby Cantona is playing and scores a try. How many points do you get <laughs> with his racket? <laughs> with his racket. <laughs> Yeah, so if, if he, if he uh, gets a juice with his, his racket. Um, <laughs> we just, so the, listeners, yeah. a full version of the rules is available <laughs> on the phone. Just, 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 just spend five minutes reading that because we're about three hours into this and I still have no idea. What's Basically, if, if they do well on the pitch, yeah. they'll get you fantasy football points. Yeah. That's, that's the, the long and the short of it. Okay. Um, and doing well could for like scoring a goal or assisting somebody to score a goal or exactly. not letting somebody yeah, score a not goal letting any goals in, you know, that thing, kind of thing. Th things which are generally deemed to be good at when you're playing football. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do do, the, do, the, do your points also um, kind of correlate with the overall uh, success of the team in that season? So no, they don't. They don't. So it's it's yeah. just on the individual players. Yeah. So it, it, so you can get a player from. Um, like, if you're really insane, you could get a Norwich City player, for instance, who were uh, relegated bottom because... Yeah. I was going to say, is Norwich um, City good or bad? I, d I don't know. But presumably, the, presumably the, point, the point is that those bad players are cheaper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it, it may be that, um, you know, although Norwich do really terribly, maybe they have a player who scores every week. Yeah. And, you know, they might lose every match 10-1. Right. But if so it's the same player scoring the diamonds one, in the they'll get you points. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so it's so, like everyone wants like uh, Mo Salah or somebody who's going to go on and score loads of goals. Doesn't He's he run marathons? Uh, oh, you're thinking of Mo Farah. That's what right. you just said. Uh, who, 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 I, who I beat in a marathon once. That's a, Hold on, there's a story. A anecdote Put right fantasy there. football over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, so I, I, I did the, uh, the 2013 London Marathon very slowly. And, and made it round and finished. And, you know, I got a medal and everything. It was all very exciting. Mo Farah did the 2013 London Marathon. And it was, it was just at the point where he was going from, like, running, like, 5,000 metres or whatever it was to wanting to run marathons. So he said, oh, I'm just going to do half of it. So he got to the halfway point just over Tower Bridge and sort of just, like, climbed over the barriers. It's like, yeah. That's I'm, me I'm, done. Yeah, exactly. 
So, as far as I'm concerned, he got did not finish. I have a question. I don't really understand why, if you have a set number of players that you can buy... Oh, hang on a minute. No, you have a set number of players you can buy, and the cheaper ones possibly... The cheaper ones are probably poorer players, and so they score fewer goals. Um, what, what do you do with the money you've got left over? Do you use that for transfers throughout the season? No, so what you do is... Um, you say, well, I could buy a cheap player that's not going to score many goals, or I could spend my money on someone who I think is actually going to do really well, but is really expensive. So there are some players that are really expensive because they're expected to score more points. So most people kind of build their team around them. So you pick three or four people that uh, you think are, are going to be really expensive, but are going to be worth it. And then you kind of spend the rest of your money on cheaper players. Okay, so there's a, so there's a first right. optimization problem there, right? There's a bit of maths there. You could buy uniformly just like people that are a bit average. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So that, let's say for so, sake of argument, let's say the cheapest player is like 5 million and the most expensive is 10 million, right? Which is not quite right. But like you could buy just a load of people that cost like 7 and a half million. These people get paid to kick a ball of air. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, the, these, are, these are like not real numbers as well, right? The, depressingly, they're actually no, quite a lot these re- lower than the real yeah, transfer yeah. numbers. These yeah. really are numbers that these people get. Just, here's a dump truck full of money to kick my ball of air. Yeah, but you get paid to do maths and you'd probably do it anyway if people didn't pay you. <laughs> That's the difference! They would hopefully kick a ball if no one paid them. It's a game! You play a game for the fun of it, not because you're paid! Oh, oh. Oh, wow, wow, there's some serious, just strong to, feeling there, isn't there? Yeah, that speaks someone who's still uh, having angst about his cross-country experiences at school. I know. <laughs> PE right. teacher of the 90s have a lot to answer for. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I dream mean, of the day when, when we have stadiums full of people cheering at us, like finishing the last line on a difficult proof, and then being like, oh, he's done it! He's done it! <laughs> <Wasn't> there, <laughs> no, there was, there are cases of that. Like, you know, um, when Andrew Wiles finished the proof of Fermat's last theorem, apparently he was, and I'll just leave it there, and sat down, and everyone just stood up applauding for him, you know, because he'd, he'd done Fermat's last theorem on the board. Well, I think they it were can just... happen. You know, it he can just, happen. Uh, he'd just done sort of four hours worth of seminars, and everyone was just desperate for a cup of tea. <laughs> 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 oh, he's done! He's done. Um, right, so, back to the uh, questions. <laughs> So I, so I see the fantasy football process as sort of like you've got 100 quid to go and spend it in the supermarket, okay? And you've Sweet. got to, you've got to, you've got to c- c- keep your family happy throughout the week and you get more points for more how happy they are. So, but you can't buy them all fish, for example. Well, so you, you, could, you could buy a lot of salad. You could buy a lot right. of salad. It would go a lot further than if but, you bought... But you've but only like one chocolate bar. Yes. Yeah. 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 So. So. Yeah. So. Okay. Now, Ben, you're talking my language. <laughs> right. So. So mathematically, you've got a fixed amount of money, and you've got to do something with some constraints in it. So you've got to have one defender. And. and but it's four. not fixed because if you sell a player and that that right. person's stock has but, gone up, you get more, or do you get yeah. exactly? Yeah. Right. So you. So you could actually play like the stock market as well. Yeah, so o- over the course ah. of, so the, the season is uh, thir- 38 weeks, right? So there's 20 teams. Can't so say yeah, right, twice. Like I know. <laughs> uh, you're a mathematician, you should be able to do 20 teams playing each other twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so at, at the end of each week is when you, when you can, like, do your transferring. So that's when you get a chance to play your stock market. And as it's going on, um, you know, if you sell a player you don't get their full price back. So that's, oh, that's a oh. really important constraint there, right? So if I buy someone for 5 million and their price goes up to 7, yep. and then I sell them, I can only sell them for 6, which means if I sell them, I, I only make half of that profit. But, but so I can't then just profit. buy them back. You, right? you do get some profit. You get some profit, but, but not the full profit. So there's a bit of a, a, a constraint there as well mm. in terms of... Um, you know, it, I may not think that this player will do well this week, but if I sell them in order to get someone who will get me more points this week, I can't then go back on that trade because I don't have enough money now. So there's a lot of, of this kind of um, optimization problem that's going along over the course My of 38 years. My eyes are glazing over. <laughs> okay, so that, I mean, let's, let's, let's talk about um, optimization, shall we? So um, 
Here we go. We're oh, going... hello. Hello. Wow. Yes, I was not well. expecting slides this oh, evening. Oh, then prepared. <laughs> I'm actually oh, surprised by that. So, so, I mean, so at the beginning of the game, you've got some money to spend. You've got to do the best you can, okay? So for me, this, this initially, the problem is a constrained optimization problem. Uh, we would call it in mathematics. Okay, and the most famous one of these is what I'd call the knapsack problem. And I think many other people would call the knapsack problem as well. Okay, so here's the game. Okay, this is from Wikipedia, so I'm not breaching any copyright here. Um, <laughs> you've, got, you, you've got a 15 kilogram uh, knapsack or backpack, as normal people call it. Um, mm -hmm. And we've got to uh, take as many of these weights as we possibly can. All right. Mm. Um, so this weight uh, is worth four dollars, but it weighs a massive 12 kilograms. Okay, which coincidentally is equal to the amount of sweat that is dripping down <laughs> on this very hot day we're recording. Um, or you could have this one for, you know, two dollars and uh, it weighs one kilogram. So here the constraint mm. is the weight. Okay, you have to you have to not fill your backpack with more than 15 kilograms and get as much money in as possible. So what would we do? What would you do? So, so what we're optimizing, sorry, Ben, was we were trying to get as much money in there. So the, as much so money that such that the total weights of the blocks you choose. Uh, right. So is to... each of these boxes give us that money. Right. Okay. So I thought it was like, you know, minimize what we spend, but you're wanting to get the most money in there. Right? Most money we can. Yes. Most mm. money we can. But those four kilogram blocks are looking pretty attractive right now. Yes. Oh. So yeah. why you say that had a good intuition? Well, because it's sizably more money than all the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. kind of a medium amount of weight, you could get quite a few in there. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. So, what would you do? I would buy... I'd, I'd have three of those. Yeah. Oh, can we do that? And Hold on. Can we, can we have multiple? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, can I? No. I just yep. assumed I could. I can have yep. multiples of those, can I? Okay. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, very I'd good. Have... Very. Hannah's on. Oh, damn. She's good. I'd, I've had, I'd have three of those, and I've got three kilos left. So I would probably do... Uh, I think the $2 for one kilo, then. Three, yeah, uh, three yeah of those. $2 for one kilo. That would, I would fill you those. right up. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So that's it. Okay, uh, and uh, you know we can we can come up with various different games to play with this, but we're essentially trying to maximise one thing with some constraint or set of constraints. So I think in Josh's case, you had a hundred million fake dollars. You had to fill up your team with what you thought was going to make you the most points, given that you have, uh, you know, you have to have one goalkeeper and two four defenders or whatever. Is is that about right, exactly. Josh? Mathematically, that's okay. that's spot on, and that's a, an exact parallel that. Um, a lot of a lot of people talk about in the kind of fantasy football world, which is uh, points per million. Exactly. So the the complicating factor in the world of fantasy football is that you don't know how many points each player is going to get. Right. Um, so, so, so 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 do you do you sort of try and guess what those points are? So do you think and say, well, I think that you know Eric Cantona is a twelve pointer, whereas you know yeah. So uh, so Dobby there Stiles are is an eight pointer or whatever. There's there's some really interesting different strategies that people take just in general so some people just go with their gut completely and they say i think that that player is going to do really well against this team i'm just going to buy them yeah whereas some people get very statistical about it and they say well i i've got all of this information from last season and the season before and the season before that and i know that um uh, i know that this particular player consistently scores over the course of the season 250 points and that's happened every year for the last however many years. So I know that in previous years, they've been worth this many points per million. I think that's good, so I'm going to get them in. And what was your approach? What was, how did you do it? So I didn't have an, an explicit kind of mathematical formula going on. Mm -hmm. But I would say I kind of combined two different ideas. So one of them was to say, okay, let, let's oh, wait, look at... Was it how we said that you came second? I don't think we ever... So why... <laughs> Why Josh is here is not only is he good at this, he's very, very... Out of 8 million people, you said? Out of 8 million people. Out of 8 million people, you are number two. I mean, that's first loser, so not yes. the best. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm still like six points ahead of Magnus Carlsen, so that's like... Because that's a person. So Ma Magnus Carlsen is the world chess champion. So wow. he's, he's uh, yeah, the, the top 
the top chess guy in the world, technical term. Um, but he is also really into fantasy football. Um, I was, some, I was so confused reason. then. I was like, why are we talking about chess? To be honest <laughs> with you, that when I heard the name Magnus Carlsen, I thought that person could only be a chess player. Yes. <laughs> or a type of kitchen. No, I, 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 I thought he'd be a weightlifter. You know, they're always yes. someone, someone, some. Where, where are you here's here's a bit of tri- well, the, trivia. The Norwegians I, oh. in general are like crazily good at fantasy football. So I don't know what the exact statistics are, but look, and bear in mind this is like the UK Premier League, right? Well, what else um, is there to do in Norway? Yeah, anyway, well, I, I want to like, hear Hannah's favourite Hannah's, uh, Hannah's, Hannah's uh, trivia. Fact. Yeah. No, it's just that I can I can name quite a sizable number of the uh, chess world grandmasters ah. <laughs> going back to probably like 1950 something. Go on then. <laughs> it's only because I know Chess the Musical. Oh, I see. <laughs> and they're all in it. Yeah. 1946, Tigran Petrosian, 1938, Mikhail Botvinnik. And then you just get and you just, and I learned them all because I was can in we, it. Can we and it's just marvelous. in there. It's can just stuck it? in there. Can we please go on Pointless? Because you would like, we, we would like, forget that. <laughs> Actually, I watched there? Pointless for the first time the other day and I was like, oh, I could, I, I, yeah. I could do this. I mean, I, I, do you actually watch a lot of quiz shows, Hannah? No, I don't. I, I know. I, I used to watch 15 to 1 back in the oh, day yes, yes, when yes. I got home from school, but I haven't really, you know, been an avid watcher. I was on 15 to 1. Were you? Were you? Of course you were. Gosh, of course take a you break. Were. I was on 15 to 1 and I was, um, I was cruelly cast off in the first round. So in the first round, <laughs> in the first round you have to get one of two questions right. And one of them was a question about music and the other one was a football question. Um, and I couldn't do either. Oh. Uh, so, so 15 to 1, if I remember rightly, it's not like weakest link where you're voted off, it's just a rather a correct or incorrect thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like last, 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 one, last one standing, really. So last keep, one, yeah. answer, keep answering questions until you've lost all your okay. um, But Ben, uh, we... Ben, you are the most famous person on this podcast, of course, because you've actually been on also Countdown. You have your... I have also failed on Countdown. Here's my, <laughs> here's my little... Uh, Yay! I managed to fail miserably on Countdown. Uh, I've got Susie Dent's book. I got. The I mean, good to back. be fair, you, the guy oh. you were playing with was insanely good. Yeah, he was. Um, he was a very good player. He went on to win several in a row. But I, I did not cover myself in glory. Um, my, my mistake was really not being able to sleep the night before and having quite a lot to drink, um, <laughs> which, which, which wasn't conducive to an eight AM call. Um, but that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. A few years time, I'll do it again. Anyway, what, fantasy, off your face. fantasy football, knapsack problems, Joshua we, Ball, second place. I second feel like we're place. really struggling to stay on topic with this It's podcast. so hot. It's so, <laughs> so hot. Have, have you listened to the podcast before, Hannah? When, like, you, are, you, you hear the edited highlights. I yeah. do. It is, I obviously do. It is, only, it is only by the miracle of continuity that Gandalf is not appearing in this segment right now. Okay? <laughs> Whizzing up in the Fantasy Mathematics League to scupper the children's exam results. Children? <laughs> Students. Right, so where were we, Josh? Where were we? Right. We've got our team. We're trying to maximise points by, by minimising their price. Yeah. They're trading yeah. in and out. Because what you said was, was, was really interesting is you'd pick people because of who they were playing. You know, that's, that's a point I hadn't appreciated. That you know, if you're playing a particular team, you want to get a good set of players against that team. But you said that you were ma- ma- putting two strategies together. So, yes. Two well, strategies. yes. Yeah, so I, I think part... So there's, there's a big debate about what they call form over fixtures, right? which is... Um, this player isn't playing very well, but they're playing some really bad teams in a minute. Therefore, they have good fixtures, so I'll get them in and hope that they start playing well. And also, it's a price thing, because if they're not a good player, they'll be cheaper. And... Yeah, yeah, but it, it may be that they're a really good player, but they just haven't been able to score for a few weeks, because, you know, because whatever, maybe they haven't slept very well the other night. Or they they spend the night drinking um, for an 8am football. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, so the, the flip side of that is maybe they've got really terrible fixtures. Right? They're playing against all of these teams that you're expecting to you know, be competing to win the league. Um, they can be really hard to score against, but that player has been in really good form. So they've just scored a hat-trick in each of their last three games. That's 
That's three golds, by the way. I, I know what a hat um, trick is. I know what a hat trick is. Don't patronise me. <laughs> so yeah, no, so please the, do. I don't know anything else. There, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the two strategies which I was kind of combining, I would say, one of them was to say, well, okay, what? Right. Think think about it from a mathematical point of view or like a statistical point of view. Right. So if you wanted to um, look over the course of a season, so I'm, I'm going to pick a, a player that you, you may or may not have heard of, uh, but there's a guy called Jamie Vardy. Right. Do you know him? No, of course I don't. I know, but I know about I, his wife. Yes, yeah, she, she had a, 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 an Instagram something with, scandal. Something with what's her face, Rooney, was it? Something. Yes. Yes, yeah, so she do was I like know that? Right. Why do Forget I know that? football. Who, who's, who's Jamie <laughs> Vardy's wife? What? She's called Rebecca Vardy. And as far as I know, I think it was Colleen Rooney um, heard that um, somebody was leaking stories um, about her to the press. And she didn't know who it was. And this Rebecca Vardy was a friend of hers, apparently. And so she went on Instagram and she made up a load of fake news about herself and posted it on Instagram but only targeted Rebecca Vardy allegedly according allegedly. to an ongoing court case which is still going on okay. <laughs> please don't sue us please don't sue us please don't sue us um, but hold yeah. on hold on hold on there's a presupposition in all of this that anyone would care what Colleen Rooney would be doing well some people do it's, it's the daily a mail a lot of people do Yes, that I, think, I think the word was Instagram. You can tell that people care about mm -hmm. Instagram. <laughs> yeah, what? so it's Why was this a out. secret? I don't... Oh, Colleen, she's in Tesco's. She's not in Tesco's. <laughs> anyway, carry on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, J Jamie Vardy is the particular player that I, I'm going to use as an example. Because he has, he has this kind of... Um, trait or at least this is my idea of him i haven't looked at the stats yet to, to <laughs> out. but um he's someone that i would think of as some weeks he just does nothing from a fantasy football point of view he goes out on the pitch Lies runs down. around for 90 minutes yeah i mean from a fantasy from a, an actual football point of view he might be playing amazingly right but he's not getting any fantasy football points these weeks. right he's not scoring any goals He's just running up and down. He gets the bare minimum of points that he gets just for showing up. Doing right? some Instagram. Yeah. But when he, when he does score a goal, he's, he often scores like two or three, right? And gets loads and loads of points. So he's got this very kind of bimodal distribution, right? He's either okay. scoring nothing or he's scoring a whole load of points. Right, right. So he's someone who's kind of like high risk, high reward. Has anyone ever thought that he might be a pair of twins? <laughs> oh. I'm just yeah, saying prestige. Yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> David <laughs> Bowie is, is Tesla. What's that about? Carry on. David Bowie is the, the captain of uh, Sheffield United at the moment. Wow. Yeah. So we're, we're not talking about the dead musician, are you? Just No, I, I, was, I was going for a prestige, like uh, a prestige list. Oh, right. Oh, I, I, again, yeah. there could be a footballer called David Bowie. I don't, you can't assume. So because some of us have children, uh, go charge your drinks and meet us in part two.